Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124 and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Super Mario 64 DS. Yeah. Hey. Now I'm gonna go over here and come to this course first. And this is the Over the Rainbows. I it's still the same course as the original, but I think they changed the name of it slightly. I don't think they call it Over the Rainbows. I want to say it was just Over the Rainbow. I'm not 100% sure. And I don't know if I showed up the name of my original in my Let's Play of the original game. So, um. Trying to think here. Okay, so anyway, because if you fall, well, I could show it off with the restore point, using the restore point, but I won't. Um, I don't think Luigi can make it like this. Let's see. No, he cannot. Oh, well, fine, I'll show it off. Do not fall, because if you do, then you get taken back to the castle grounds. That's why I'm wanting to make use of the restore point feature to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah. <clears throat> Hey, you're gonna take Luigi and float all the way down here. You guys hear noises in the background? I apologize. It's still the Fourth of July, the day I'm recording this, and it's evening, so people are shooting off fireworks where I live. So, and you're really gonna open the cannon and then get Wario's hat. Um, much like the, I'll call them the cap courses, even though you don't get the caps, you get the power flower instead, other than the wing cap, um, uh, much like in those, they added a star here as well, so originally there was just the red coin star, but in this version, in the remake, they added a second star you get with Wario. You need to grab behind the tree, but if you don't angle it right, you can fall, and again, that's why I use the restore point there in case I did mess up and not have it aimed properly. And of course you need Wario to punch these black boxes and that contains a star. <clears throat> Since it's just another one of the castle secret stars though it doesn't ha have an actual mission name. Just one of the castle secret stars. Now I'm going to get in here for the red coin star, and I am going to go to the dual screens. Let's see here. I'm wanting to go... Okay, I'll go to that one, and again, to be on the safe side, I'm going to create another restore point. <clears throat> this is for t this is for saving time. Again, it's not cheating, it's cheaping out, but seriously, forget chancing falling. Let's see, okay, there, anyway. Unlike in the original, the sun is not here, so you can't use it to aim it up. So just or to line up with this, so just go for this platform. Other platform kind of lined up with here because, of course, that has the cannon on it. <clears throat> so there's one there, two there. 
think this one... Wait a minute. I think that one. Oh wait, no! There is a cloud in the original game that had a coin in it, but I think they either remove the cloud or remove the coin from it, because I do believe there's one on the platform there, one there, and then the two on top of th this platform. So I think they're all right here now. They may have completely removed that cloud, not just the move the coin. I don't know for sure, but either way. I can probably fall to it, but to be on the safe side, I'm just going to gradually descend until I can grab the green holes. I don't want a chance hitting the cloud either and then falling off, so... And there. Okay, there. So now do this and drop. <clears throat> As I, say, I was going to say before triple jumping, I'm going to make sure I'm lined up. Or rather, lined up in a good position as opposed to in a bad position. There. All of the rainbows is done. Now I'm going to switch back to the big screen. The one screen, the top screen, whatever. <sighs> Cruiser crossing the rainbow. Let's go. Now, in the original game, you had to be more skillful to be able to speed run through the level, and even then, I want to say you're limited. But with this and the remake here, much like the vast majority of the game, Luigi breaks the crap out of this level. And there's also something else you can do as well to break it, so, um... Just take Luigi over here to the maze, then backflip up this way. And then backflip this way again. And then backflip quickly because that platform will descend. And then backflip again. There. That's how you get this the first star super fast with Luigi. However, unlike in the original, the wind is so strong you can't get up there without Wario, so they make you need Wario for this mission. Interesting that they made it so you need Wario and becoming metal to be able to get the star. Yeah, Luigi breaks the absolute crap out of Rainbow Ride, doing the shortcuts I just showed off. <clears throat> and the bit, it's very easy, unlike in the original, you, in the original you were forced to ride the carpets all the way up to the top. In this game, there's something that was added that you can make use of to be able to get this star. It's not the intended way, but you can do it, so forget doing it the intended way. I already show off the intended way in the original game anyway. Since it was completely required. I want to say there's no way even speedrunners can skip it for like people to do 120 star speedruns of the original game. I think no matter what, you have to freaking ride the carpets. Actually, I kind of want to... Actually, no, I did not. I'm where I need to be. Because... This did exist in the original, but there's a warp point. But there is something a bit different this time. Yes, there's a switch over there. There's a switch jar that's a bit added in the level. And because of the switch jar, they put Mario's cap here in the big house in the sky. Outside of it, technically. Not only that... But they also give you a block for Balloon Mario. You're intended to ride the carpet, but 
Why run the carpet when you can do what I did to get up here and then just use Balloon Mar to get up to the star instead? And I know it's going out of order, but I am going to get the Switch Star immediately after this one. <clears throat> I also apologize for the music in the other room, um, because... Yeah, they're currently playing music right now, and on top of that, I have my freaking door open because we got window AC, like I've been mentioning in these videos. It's too warm for me to have my door shut, so... Anyway, coins of mass in a meat maze, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the switch star first. Anyway. Pretty much the exact same private pre process as the previous star, only difference is I have to hit the switch and it's on a timer. Thing is, they are quite lenient on the amount of time they give you to get that star, though. I want to say it's somewhat strict, but it is. They do give you some leniency on how strict the, time it, it, the timing is. How much they are somewhat, at least somewhat lenient on how much time they give you to be able to get the Switch Star before it disappears. <laughs> I should be fine, but just to be on the safe side, I'm creating a restore point. in a maze. So, now I will get that star. I was just trying to pick up that Babam, but whatever. <clears throat> Be careful of the flame shooter. I apologize for the slight lack of commentary. I have had some stuff to say, but not as much as I have had to say in previous videos. Anyway, swinging in the breeze. Um, now. Okay, now I'm thinking of tricky triangles. So, time to make more use of breaking the crap out of this level of Luigi. Jump like this, and then it's close enough. Just backflip, come over here. You guys want to see the intended way and routes of this stuff? Check out my let's play of the original Super Mario 64, as well as Slim Kirby's let's play of the original. Well, similar as the let's play of the original, and probably this game too, if I had to guess. I don't know. It's been a while since he's done that Let's Play, so I don't know how much... I don't remember how much he broke the game with Luigi. Tricky Triangle, same thing. Um, 
I don't think you can reach her from this platform. I think you have to get up here for a little bit more height. Let's see. Um, okay, I was able to grab it. Now, in the original, the timing for this switch was strict. I want to say to give you more time than this, but I could very well be wrong. I don't know for sure. I think they definitely gave you more time to get across those triangles than the original, but I'm not 100% for sure. But I do know, one way or another, I do know they were very strict on the time. Like, they gave you maybe a little bit of what, one, a second or two, but compared to other time things in the game, they were quite strict on the time for that. The amount of time they gave us for that, but anyway. Um, for the rest of the, I don't have to, but for the rest of the game I'm going to be playing as Mario. I'm going to go to where the... Red coin mazes, real quick, to mention something and show something off before I'm um, grabbing Mario, because when I come back in here, I'm going to do what I did for TikTok Clock for the 100 coins. And, um, or not the 100 coins, was going to do, but failed to do. Oh, you know, no, 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 I know what I'm talking about. It wasn't the dual screen, derp. Um, do what I did in TikTok Clock. Which was, uh, cut the commentary so you guys can enjoy this awesome music, but there's something I need to show off and talk yeah. about first. And that is the blue coin switch. <clears throat> Much like in the original, you need Mari to be able to wall jump. Uh, you know, the characters can wall jump, and you... I want to say it's possible to get the 100 coin star without the blue coins, regardless of whether or not it is. It's either impossible to get the 100 coins without the blue coins, or it just makes it more tedious. It's one of the two. But either way, you need Mario to be able to get those blue coins. And while I can go to the big house in the sky to get Mario's hat, I'd rather just start off the level with Mario. And this Goomba here, when you're not playing as Luigi, has Luigi's hat, so I'm gonna get the blue coins of the Mario, and then jump on the Goomba to get the Luigi hat and go from there. So anyway, that said, I'm gonna exit course and switch over to Mario for the rest of- actually, crap. Um, well, here's what I'll do. Create a restore point right here, because there's something I need to show off in Rainbow Ride. Oh no, not in Rainbow Ride, something in the castle, rather. <clears throat> There's something I need to show off in the castle before switching over to Mario. Now, in the original game, there's endless stairs, and of course, there's still a thing in this game. Now, however, in the original game, you couldn't ever see the end of the stairs once you get 70 stars. In this game, however... Grr, even though I lost this many power stars, Mario's the only one I can call my rival. No one else matters, anyone can see No one else matters to me. Now scram, qua ha ha ha. But, he said he only fights Mario, and... Now, Nathaniel Bandy did beating the game without Mario, that video, so... With glitching, it is technically possible to get in the level with characters other than Mario, but... And, unless, and you can't do the backwards jump, long jump, like in the original, because they fixed that, so you can't do that anymore. So, there's a different way you can glitch, but unless you glitch in that manner, it's literally impossible to... Like, outside of that, it's literally impossible to do Bowser in the Sky with anybody else except for Mario. But I wanted to not only talk about that and explain that and show that off and show off that you can view the endless stairs regardless of how many stars you are, just don't be playing as Mario. But also just wanted to like it wanted to do all that and as well as show off the endless stairs in general. That said, now let's reload the restore point and switch over to Mario. Now, like I said in the previous video, um before I do well, how I'll do this, it, much like I handled the original Super Mario 64, is before showing off the stuff at the very end of the game, I will be 
uh, going to my already completed file and flying around the castle, ending off the let's play that way, and um, giving my thoughts on the game and whatnot. But anyway, <clears throat> that said, I'm gonna switch over to Mario, and we'll be using Mario for the rest of the game. Now, of course, I will be using Luigi in to or in. Rainbow Ride with the cap, but as far as the character we're actually playing as, I'll be using Mario for the rest of this. <sighs> anyway. So, yeah, I thought so. Gotta triple jump or jump on the platform. There. Anyway guys, I hate to have to do this, but I gotta use the bathroom, so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the castle music again while I go to the bathroom real quick. <clears throat> guys I am back I kind of wish I would have cut the commentary but didn't think of it but anyway yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> my thought process was I'm gonna cut the commentary here anyway so I didn't do it previously but anyway guys like I said previously I'm gonna be cutting the commentary and I will see you guys um, once I have the hundred coins or on the ship one of the two <clears throat> I'll see you guys there back there back with commentary.
Anyway guys, I'm back with commentary and going to start this up again. <clears throat> And of course, once again, I forget to freaking do the dual screens. At least I did it to some extent. I apologize for not having it up more. Of course, I freaking forget to do it again. But anyway, time to go up here with Mario. At this point, you should be at 148 stars like me. If you are, then you've gotten every other star in the game. Because, much like the other Bowser levels and other levels in the game, and in addition to the red coin mission here, they added a second star to it. And just like the other Bowser levels, it's just another Switch star. <clears throat> Because of them playing music in the other room, I will go ahead and cut the commentary once I show off the Switch Star, because the Red Coin Star is pretty much the same as it was in the original. The coins are in the same exact location, so... Again, I'm only going to do have commentary until I show off the Switch Star. That's the only reason, otherwise I keep the commentary going. Now, the level's pretty much the same, but the look of it's changed. Like, for instance, the coloring uh, on these platforms where I'm at that have the arrows that was different in the original. And I don't, I, I, what, I don't like the idea of putting the commentary, but at the same time I don't have too much to say about this whole one anyway, so. I think they are, they give you some sort of leniency, like they're not super strict on the time for the star, but I want to say it's not like an absolute cakewalk either, you have to be fast to some extent. 
Come on, really? There. <clears throat> Not now. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna cut the commentary until I get to the top of the level. guys I am back for commentary um first off I'm gonna switch to the dual screens real quick 
and show off that you guys couldn't see it. I don't think, maybe you could have, I can't remember, but I do have 150, all 150 stars in the game now. Again, like I mentioned previously, I'm not going to be showing off any of the mini games. You guys want to show or see the mini games? Check out Slim Kirby's Let's Play of Super Mario 64 DS, as well as Starbones 271's Let's Play of Super Mario 64 DS. But outside of not showing the mini games off, I've caught all the rabbits, got all the shiny rabbits, talked to all the toads, got every single star in the game. There's but one thing left before I get to that, like I've been mentioning. Um. Gonna go to my already completed file. Actually, I think B is the one I've been playing, so. Well, best way to check it is to check both files and see if the cannon's open or not. Okay, the cannon's open and. The second file, and I imagine the file A was my first file. So I'm gonna check that real quick. <clears throat> if the cannon's open in my first file, then that means that you can re much like in Super Mario 64, you can collect all the stars and have the cannon be open without actually beating the final boss. And yep, just like the original Super Mario 64, you can, and I imagine this also, it goes on the original consoles, the N64 and the DS respectively, for Super Mario 64 and Super Mario 64 DS, once you have all the stars, you can, you can, like, restart the game without beating Bowser. Oh, sorry. I mean, not like that was much of a spoiler, but still, I wish I would have said Final Boss. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, in bo both... That and now this. But anyway, back to what I was saying. In both Super Mario 64 and the DS version, you can get all the stars in the game and not beat Bowser, but just re restart the game, and the cannon will already be unlocked, which is or open, which is interesting. Then anyway. <clears throat> If I can not get caught on the stupid little fence. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the wing cap and close off the Let's Play. If it runs out, I'll just, at any point, I'll just go ahead and freaking refresh it by going back to the top of the castle and hand it. I also gravely apologize as of right now, unfortunately, fireworks are going off outside. <clears throat> Where I am at, like they have been. Um, I'm gonna refresh the wing cap because I haven't gotten into closing off the Let's Play yet, so... Anyway, I'm gonna come back this way, and, uh... Refresh the wing cap, slide a little bit, and then... Get started with this. <clears throat> anyway, my thoughts on this game... Definitely a really good remake. Um, much like Slim Kirby mentioned, um, I am well, like for himself. Let me restart this. Much like Slim Kirby, I also prefer the original Super Mario 64 over the remake. I mean, I did have this game while I was still a kid as well. But, um, the original was definitely. I had much. It was much, a much bigger part of my childhood than the DS remake, and not only that, and I just prefer playing it over this. But it's also like the to I like the tighter controls. Like one thing this game definitely improved on was the um, wall jumping from Mario, and it's a good thing it did because having to like do it immediately the moment you touch the wall instead of just like touch the wall and you, you, at any point while you're sliding down jump off it like they change how wall jumps work so that's a good change and the physics of the ds version feel better like they're more looser so they're it's de the controls are definitely more welcoming for beginners and novices people that aren't experts or or pros at playing platforming games so it's definitely, this game is definitely more beginner friendly than the original. 
between the controls of the game, Mario's wall jumping, etc. Um, but again, like I said, much like Slim Kirby, I prefer the original over this game because again, it's it was a much bigger part of my childhood, and I just prefer over it in this game in general. I get more enjoyment out of it. It has nothing to do with the fact that the rabbit thing. For getting that star for the white rabbits is tedious, it's just... In general, I prefer playing the original over this game. I have more, get more enjoyment out of it. And, of course, it, it's much easier to speed run the game 120 stars um, than it is this game. Even 149, not counting the freaking rabbit one. And, um, in the original Super Mario 64, I've actually been able to beat the game in under four hours. I do believe under three and a half hours as well. I've actually timed myself from beginning to end all 120 stars in under four hours. So, that does go to show that I'm very, very good at the original game. I'm good at this game, too, and know how, like, I know a lot of ways in which you can use Luigi to break the game, doing some awesome tricks with him. <clears throat> but anyway... Um, my thoughts for the original compared to this game aside, now it's time to get back, back to just this game. Again, this game is more beginner friendly for, friendly for the original, so if you're looking to get just one of the two and not both of them for Wii Virtual Console, definitely go with this one, but I highly recommend both versions of the game. And as far as I'm concerned, like if you're willing to get both of them and play both of them, get both versions of the game, because it's a definitely worth experiencing both games. Because, again, like, they do enough different with Yoshi, Mario, Luigi, and Wario, and how they handle, like, the power-ups and stuff, wing cap, invisibility, metal, and, um, I'm not counting Breathing Fireball, mention it, and, um, Balloon Mario. Between the stuff they do differently, you have to have certain requirements, such as needing a certain character for stars, etc. Um... Kind of sick. <clears throat> um. Again, the physics. I'm sorry. Like, um. Someone in the room was talking and kind of distracted me, so I went to freaking physics. But anyway. But yeah. Um. Can't remember where the frick I was going with this. But yeah, um, I apologize for the lack of commentary here, I kind of lost my train of thought, so... Oh yeah, what they did differently. They do enough different between all the characters and power-ups, um, you have to go... Like, it changes the, even the it stars that were the original game, it changes up enough to fit them well enough for it to feel like, it, even though it's, you're getting a lot of the same stars that were in the original game, the vast majority of them, more than 50%. Well, not vast majority, but the majority of them, over 50%. Even though they're the same stars you got in the original, it, but the game does enough with everything between the power-ups and characters, etc. Things they added, things they changed, they added a lot of coins in the levels to make getting the 100 coins less tedious to the, the biggest noteworthy examples are Jolly Roger Bay and Dire Dire Nox. Um, but yeah, again, even though you're getting a lot of, I'm, I'm so, I know I'm repeating myself a bit here and I apologize for that, but again, much like, or rather, um, they do enough with everything they add in the game, like again, the characters, the power-ups, etc. Um, that even though you're getting a lot of the same stars that you did in the original game with everything that they did with this game, it feels like a, a it feels like a completely different game, and it's definitely worth again playing both versions of the game. But this version is definitely worth playing, even if you played the original game before all the way through. And plus, on top of everything that's old that was in the original game, feeling 
fresh and feeling new because of everything that this game does. On top of that, there's the 30 stars, there's adding horses such as the freaking fort around in the area where, in the courtyard where Big Boo's haunt is. Um, every single of the 15 normal horses got an extra star added. Um, Bowser levels and the uh, power up courses of the original game got stars added. In this game, again, I was just mentioning all the things this game does good and then it's worse. It does enough different from the original, even with a lot of the stars being the same, to be worth getting and playing the game. It definitely feels a lot different. It feels quite a bit different from the original physics and how things are handled in the game, etc. Again, I apologize for repeating things, certain things quite a bit. <clears throat> but as a whole, the game. I prefer the original Super Mario 64, but I will admit that this game is definitely better than the original, and it offers, even though a lot of the stars are the same as I've been mentioning, it was, it, it, as the original game, as I've been mentioning quite a bit, it's still... I can't remember where I was going with that thought. Dang it. But again, it's still different enough to be worth playing. Um... I already said that. I very greatly apologize. I forgot where I was going with that. Oh yeah, like it, that's what I was getting at. Even though a lot of the stars are the same as the original, as we mentioned several times over, um, and I lost my thought again. Good God. Oh yeah, it feels. No, I already said it feels like a fresh experience. Son of a crap. Uh, I re very, very greatly apologize. Including for saying I greatly apologize several times over. Oh, it did, I can't. I finally remembered it again. Hopefully I won't forget it this time. Even though a lot of the stars are the same as the original, uh, what they do... Between that and the absolute brand new content in this game, I said something, thought something about content, but I can't remember where I was going with that thought. Oh, it takes old stuff and makes it feel like the old stars that were in the original, and makes it feel like new content with what it does. I really apologize because right now they're shooting off fireworks where I live and they're shooting off the good ones now, so they're gonna be more frequent and louder than what they have been in general. But anyway, um, again, overall, you, you, it takes a lot of old content and stuff in the original game, makes it feel new again, makes it feel fresh, feels like a different game. It's definitely worth playing this. Regardless of whether or not you play the original, I highly recommend both games, the original Super Mario 64 and Super Mario 64 DS, especially if you have a Wii U. Get them for Virtual Console while the Virtual Console on the Wii U is still available and is still up and running. Um, and as far as my thoughts on the game in general, I like the game. I prefer the original over this, as I've said, but... It's definitely, an enjoy it's, it's definitely entertaining and enjoyable to go back through this and play it. This will probably be my last time ever playing this game. But, yeah, really solid game, just like the original. Feels different enough from the original to be worth playing. Basically repeating things I've already said, recapping them. And I do love this game. I just have... The, the, just as I have a place in my heart, the original does, even though it's still definitely a fun and entertaining experience, and I love how incredibly lucky I got with the white graphics in this game, but, uh, but that all said, and repeating quite a few freaking things, um, quite a bit, and I apologize for that as well as apologizing for apologizing several times over in this video, in general, several times over in this video. I guess that's it for my thoughts on the game, and... I will say the part I'm about to say here again, right at the end before the final stuff in the game, but I hope you guys have all enjoyed this Let's Play, and I'm glad you guys, especially you Drybones271, are finally able to see me Let's Play this game, 
And um, yeah, I will leave it at that and do my official close off once I finally get this over with. I didn't plan on this being over an hour. I really wish it wouldn't have been, but oh well, it is what it is. So let's reload the store point. <clears throat> Now another thing I'm going to do, I didn't do this in the original, but so you guys can enjoy the final music, final boss music of the game, I am going to get in here, read, I'm not going to hide it, uh, uh, sorry, I'll, oh, I'll keep you guys from being spoiled or whatever, I'm going to say it right here and then do it, I'm going to get into the pipe, I'm going to talk to Bowser to read off his dialogue, and then I'm going to reload the restore point so you guys can enjoy the, um, epic music of the final boss, and um, also so you guys don't have to hear the super fireworks in the background, so let's get it, let's get in here. That's just fine, I've been looking for something to fry with my fire breath. Your star power is useless against me, your friends are all trapped in the walls. And you'll never see the princess again. <laughs> anyway, guys, I will be back with commentary. Oh, also, I don't know that I showed the bottom screen off. I think I did, but I'm going to show it off very briefly here as well as for the arena with Bowser. And then I will reload the restore point once again. So that's what it looks like. And I will switch over after beating Bowser to show what it looks like, the bottom screen looks like after. Whereas, because of course, after the second hit, he makes the arena into a star shape. The battle arena, battlefield, whatever. Anyway, guys, with that said, I will see you at the very end to close off the Let's Play. Back with the commentary for a second. One other thing I didn't mention is the main reason I closed, gave my thoughts on the game and whatnot previously before doing this is so you guys can enjoy the uh, the stuff at the end as well as the awesome end credits music. That said, I'm going to cut the commentary again until after beating Bowser to close off the Let's Play.
bye bye. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Anyway, guys, I'm back to read Bowser's dialogue and close the Let's Play out. No, you've really beaten me this time, Mario. I can't stop lo always losing you. My trip's worthless. They turn over all the power stars. My trip's worthless. They turn over all the power stars. Wait, say that again? There are 150 stars in all? What? There are some in the castle that I missed? Now I see peace returning to the world. I really hate that. It's so horrible I can't watch. I'm out of here. Just you wait until next time. Until then, keep that touch screen smoking. Qua ha ha. <laughs> next time it'll be keep that gamepad smoking and then keep those Joy-Cons smoking. <laughs> I know I skipped over the GameCube, but I'm not counting that because that would just go back to the control stick anyway. <laughs> Anyway guys, much like the original Let's Play and something I always like to do, have always liked to do in the original, I'm going to triple dump, jump into the star, but I'm going to give one final close off to this Let's Play. This has been Su Let's Play Super Mario 64 DS, I hope you guys have all enjoyed watching this Let's Play, and I will see you guys next time for my, oh, and I will see, yeah. Again, I'll, I'll start that over. I'm very sorry for the awkward outro. It wouldn't be the end of this Let's Play without me having an awkward outro. <laughs> anyway, guys, that this has been Let's Play Super Mario 64 DS. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this Let's Play, and I will see you guys next time for my next Let's Play. Bye, everybody.
to do something special for you. Here we go! Listen. Let's bake a delicious cake. For my heroes. Yoshi! 